Hello and welcome to Currently Caffeinating. Today's video is an unboxing of an item I purchased off of Amazon and it's called an Astronaut Galaxy Projector. So let's open this up and take a look at it. So this is what it looks like. So we got the uh, user's manual and it comes with a remote. And this is the uh, remote control. Cable. I saw this advertised online and I thought it looked pretty cool so I thought I would order it and see what it's all about. So it's sort of like a night light. Uh, it's supposed to shine stars or nebula on the ceiling. So I want to see how good it looks. But here's the uh, base of it. So it looks like this is the uh, the wheels for the the base. So I got the four wheels. And let me figure out how to put this thing together. All right, so you just uh, put these rods in here. put the wheels on I assume they just snap right on right, so I got the wheels on um, it was a little bit harder than I thought uh, I had to really get them on there push them in really good but I finally got them on there and then uh, this part is, is a magnet, so you just place the astronaut's head on here and it just, it just connects in, in there. And I guess this is a little control panel that just snaps in right here. So this is what it looks like so far. I don't know, I think it looks pretty cool. So I'm ready to plug this in and see how it looks. So let's go try it out. And before I try it out, I just wanted to show the user's manual. Now it does have a uh, timer on it. It has a 45 minute timer and a 90 minute timer. And again, here's the uh, remote for it. Oh, and just one other thing. It does require two AAA batteries, which are not included. All right, so I got it connected. It just plugs in the back here, and then you have to plug it into a, a power source. So I do have it plugged into my alarm clock. So let me turn it on and see how this thing works. All right, so I'm gonna turn the light off and then hit this switch on the remote. I 
know it's kind of dark but it's still a light outside so it's not completely dark in here but as you can see it looks pretty cool it takes up pretty much the whole room and you can swivel the head around and adjust it how you want it like I said it does have a timer on it you can set it for 45 minutes or 90 minutes and there's a different settings on there you can change the colors so let me uh, try those out so there's also a button on the remote that um, you can get rid of all the stars and then you can add them back so like I said it's pretty cool it does take up the majority of the whole room I think it'll look a lot better when it's uh, it's dark outside and there's not much light coming in. So I did want to read some of the instructions. Um, power switch. Press the power switch to turn on the machine. By default, the machine will turn on the nebula and stars at the same time. And then nebula switch. Short press the nebula button. You can switch the color of the nebula every time you press to switch a color. So the cycle, long press to turn off the nebula function, short press to turn on the nebula function again. Star switch, press the button to switch a star breathing rate every time. There are three modes of star breathing rate, namely star breathing slow, star breathing fast, and star steady on. Long press the button to turn off the star function. So as you can see, you can turn the nebula off and just have the stars on. Or turn it back on again. So like I said, I'm really pleased with this product. Uh, I got it off of Amazon. It was about $25.99. And it seems very well made too. So I do think it's pretty cool. I would highly recommend it. I just hope it lasts a while, but... We'll see about that. As always, thanks for watching my videos and stay caffeinated.